What is up guys? I guess y'all have noticed the name change. This is like the fourth one I've ever done. Four times now. So, kind of have to think of an intro to do for this one. But yeah, now I'm known as Duramax Alex. Because I've owned two Duramaxes and I'm going to keep it that way. Keep owning Duramaxes. But off we go. So, I noticed my truck's been making kind of a noise. So I'm taking it to my mechanic buddy, Croker's Custom Diesel Sticker back there. And I'm uh, going to have him look at it because I cannot figure out what in the hell it's doing right now. And I'm going to take it to him, see if he's got any ideas. Maybe he's seen this before because this is completely new to me. You know, if it had happened on the OBZ, I'd have been like, oh, yeah, EGR broke. Need a new one. But uh, so, yeah, we're on our way. light in all of Texas so this is the turn left that way's to go right you can't go straight and then they got this fucking weird ass where they got to go this way onto the left hand side of the road pretty much and they're on the other side of the left hand side and they got to go that way and then back this way swooping around it's so confusing <laughs> the man the myth the legend the guy behind Kroger's custom diesel and he fixes my truck you gotta give me one of the calculated addiction stickers man I'll get you one so I can be all incognito I got some here oh sweet yeah I've been repping every video I, almost, I do. I kind of like when people ask, I tell them everything that's been done, and then I like almost every video I put that sticker on there. I'm just like, Yeah, go to this guy. <laughs> but uh, I need a better camera than my phone because it looks really weird when I'm walking around like this. some before though that's what's stressing me out and if you put it in three and since three kind of amps up the rpms you can hear it even more like when you're just kind of coasting down the road and like turbo used to actually make a slight whistle which is really odd for the lb7 but then it went away when that happened the cab kind of I'm really like a hypochondriac when it comes to my truck <laughs> Cut 
turns out right as the exhaust gets louder, so it's like hard to tell when it happened. I'll let you drive it up here and then see if you can get it to do it. Okay. I highly doubt it's even being picked up on video. Cause like, I don't know what, one of my brakes is making like a scratching sound and I can't ever pinpoint it and I try to film it to post it on like a forum and no one else is like, oh, we can't hear it. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I don't hear nothing. Yeah, this side's real dirty, so this is hot okay. Wait till I build my Dodge, and I'm like, well, you don't have it here right now, so let me show what this can do. And I, I put it on a fifth tune for like the third time, and this time I went all out, and like, I'm talking like burned 30 like yards of just black lines. That's what I was thinking. Oh, that's why I asked. Maybe it could be the lift pump. Like maybe I pushed it too much. I don't. But of course, the lift pump's kind of hard to hear when I'm when you're back there with like his Austin and everything. You know. Would it still make it if the rear end wasn't spinning? It, it makes it, it Yeah, but if I power break it, like if I were just to sit here and kind of get up to those RPMs and the tires don't break, it'll make that sound. Let me get out. y'all can hear it on the video but it, it's a, it's like a like the Oakland Whistler fucking exhaust the woo but faint you hear it yeah but it sounds like the turbo it's coming out the exhaust like turbo going out the exhaust so <laughs> is my turbo fucked yet. no it sounds fucking oh. it sounds normal are you serious Really? Yeah. It's not normal though. It's normal? Yeah. To break the engine mounts? No, I mean they're only broke. 
<laughs> How much is it to fix that? Uh, I'm not too sure. No? Is that going to be harmful over time, or? Uh, I mean, it's probably already been broke. So. It's, it's always done that kind of jerk when, it, when I... Yeah, the, it, the whole engine goes like that. It's that side over there that always breaks. I might explain why my belt snapped like three weeks ago. Maybe. Because I really just slammed it in, in third tune to get ahead of somebody, and then all lost power to everything. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? And I went over there, and it was like tangled around everything. Yeah. Well, I always wanted turbo noise, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's coming out the exhaust right before it, you know, gets super loud. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, so that was Casey Croker of Croker's Custom Diesel. And uh, I don't know if he got it in the video, but uh, he basically just said it was coming from my turbo. He wouldn't worry about it right now. If it gets worse, then he'll be easy to pinpoint the problem. And if it does get worse, new turbo, so not all bad I guess but uh yeah that and he said one of my engine mounts probably broke so we're gonna have to fix that eventually yeah hopefully I don't break my downpipe because if it moves on that side that that exhaust is in there pretty well so hopefully that downpipe don't just snap right off the back end what if it already did a lot of you have clearly stated in past videos I'm not the mechanic I stopped doing my own stuff because my wife got mad for breaking all my stuff 